Hey there, Internet! My name's Dave and I am back with another reaction. This time I'm going to be diving back into Aldius again. Um, if you've been with the channel for a little bit, you might have seen that I have already done a reaction to this song called Dominator. However, uh, the version that I watched was not the full version, so someone had requested me to watch it again because this is the actual, like, full version. And I remember at the time being like, oh man, I really wish that I could, you know, that I had heard the whole thing, so... Now I'm going to be able to finally do that. I'm really, uh, really looking forward to this. Let's dive in. I am going to be pausing every now and then just because, like I said, I like to keep, you know, I like to get my thoughts out without having to talk over the video and miss something. So anyways, three, two, one, go. Yep, okay, so I already remember uh, this is, I, I really liked the way that this just like kicked right in at the time. Um, yeah, I, I just wish that, you know, the quality of the video was a little bit better, but, you know, it is what it is. Uh, I'm mainly here for the sound anyways, so anyways, back into it. Three, two, one. <laughs> okay <laughs> uh man that drummer is getting some work in though i love i love just hearing that uh i love hearing good drummers man it's it makes everything so satisfying it really ties a group together when the drummer is like really good and you know it's it's not that it's taking away from everything at all like it's not like oh man i'm so obsessed like i don't know like the with the drums it's it's more or less that she's complementing the rest of the group really well with what she's doing. Um, and obviously the guitars sound great too as well. And uh, and I like how she didn't like just start out with like belting notes or anything like that. Like she didn't just start singing really loud. She actually started in a little soft and stuff. So that's actually a pretty nice way to do it because you know you would think that with the way that the song started she would have kicked right in with you know screaming or not screaming but singing a little bit louder than she started with so it was actually pretty unexpected and kind of nice so let's get back Oh, that's okay. <laughs> that's what I remember liking about this song too. Was the other thing was the the little riff that the guitarist is doing right there. Uh, uh, it sounds so good. Like it just it just sounds like she's just kind of traveling up and down, but it just sounds so good. Um, I don't know why. Like it's just when I when I first heard that, I just remember being like, wow, like that that was really cool sounding, and I love when bands can do something like that that you know they do something that i'm just not expecting that might be a little subtle but it's it's you know it's i don't know like i guess it's kind of subtle but it's also at the same time like i don't know it stands out to me because it's something that i'm like listening for i really want to hear um some unique guitar play as well so really cool i like it
Yeah, and, and and even that part right there, the guitar is, I mean, it's it's kind of simple, but it's very effective. It it it's it still sounds really cool right there. Um everything just sounds like really cool. Even like when I was talking about that guitar part, uh I noticed that even with that, there was the other guitarist that was also playing, but it was like a higher pitch kind of thing that they were going for. You could hear it as well. It was a little bit more subtle, but you could hear it. And it was just like it's it's really nice the way they've blended all of this together. So it sounds really good. I like it so far. Let's keep going. Okay, and again, can I just say, uh, so far I love everything about this. I mean, I, I'm pretty sure that all of this has been in the video so far that I've seen, um, but I think pretty soon here it's about to kick into some stuff that I haven't seen yet. Um, but I just, like, I just want to reiterate, I love the setting that they decided to shoot this in, like, you know, being in kind of like, a, it looks like a church or something of that nature um, with their style that they were going for. It just looks really cool, and it's a really nice touch, so... I really like it from that standpoint. I just wish the video quality was a little bit higher so that I could actually, you know, really take in all of the detail of, you know, the background and all of that. Because I think it would be a really cool looking shot. It's just like, you know, wait, which pixel is what? It's not that bad, but it's it's close. So let's get back to it. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, okay. I'm pretty sure that this is where I got to. I think it's right after the guitarist gets done playing her part right here is when the video cut off the first time. I'm pretty sure. But I remember loving that bass part before, too. That bass, oh, I love hearing that bass. Uh, it sounds so good. Um... Yeah, so I think, but I'm pretty sure up until now I've heard all of this, and now I should be hearing stuff that I'm not, that I haven't heard yet. So back to it. Uh, I don't know why. Oh my god. I just I seriously love that guitar part so much. I, I don't know if it's it almost for some reason to me it almost sounds like like a a classical um scale or something that she's doing. I know it's not, but it just it makes me think of like classical music when they kind of go up and down and it, it was kind of like when they were toying around with music at the time. Um I don't know, like it just kind of reminds me of that for some reason. I don't I don't know why I get that feeling. Maybe it's also because, you know, they're in kind of like a cathedral kind of setting and all that, too. I don't know. But it just it adds to the song so much and it's really cool. Uh, but yeah, so far, I am now at the part where I am starting to get to the parts that I have not seen yet. And, you know, that guitar solo that she had as well was really spot on and great. So I like that as well. But let's keep going. <laughs>
Okay. Wow. So. <laughs> uh, yeah, I really liked that. Um, you know, there wasn't like... <sighs> I will say, at least the short version that I did react to from before, uh, it did include most of the song. It's not like it was only like... A third or a half of the song it seemed like it was a little over half of the song that it included so I mean it did have that going for it but um, you know but being able to hear the rest of the song uh, just makes it feel way more complete of a song and it everything I liked everything and it, it sounded phenomenal um, the drummer I absolutely love the drummer that was awesome she's really really good clearly um, and again, you know, I, I don't know why I even do this because every single Japanese metal group or rock group that I have seen or reacted to are really, really good. It's just, I don't know. It, it's like they don't really, it's not like in the U.S. or like, you know, the Western uh, hemisphere. <laughs> uh, it just seems like, you know, here there's some bands that kind of slip through because they have like more of a poppy feel or they're I don't know it's not really that I guess it's just there's some bands that it's just like how did you get so successful and why do you have such a big following and then you know you look at the Japanese bands and you're like how are they not more popular how are they not more <laughs> well known I mean just the musicianship that's going on um, everyone is so talented at all of their instruments including all of the singers so it's just, I don't know, I, I guess it's just a different culture. I mean, people, they take it very, very seriously over there and they want you to be the best at what you do. Whereas in the U.S., it's like, oh, you can be a crappy singer, but you can still kind of get by as long as your band is good. You can, you know, kind of just be whatever. I mean, there's a few bands that I can think of that are like that uh, from the West, so... Uh, but it does not seem to be the case in Japan. I don't know. Maybe I'm just seeing like all of the good people and maybe there are some people that are kind of like, eh, not that great. I don't know. Um, but that's the perception that I'm getting so far. So, but yeah, I really liked all of that. I liked uh, their outfits. I liked the setting that they decided to go with. I loved the music itself. Uh, her voice was really good. I liked how she really held off at the end with that note that she hit. She kind of like went really soft near the end as it was fading away instead of like she could have just belted that note out at the end like most singers would have done. But she kind of just let it kind of go and softened it a lot at the end. And it was really a it was a nice touch. Um, but yeah, I, I, so far, you know, and I have another video that I'm going to be watching of theirs. It's I think it's a live performance, but um yeah, I'm going to look into more of their stuff because I do like their sound and I like the uh, the voice of the singer as well. But, you know, obviously number one for me is drums. So that drummer was amazing. Um, but again, I would love to know who actually came up and composed that song because if it was them, that's amazing. Like, it sounds amazing. Um, it was the the musicianship the the way that they composed the song itself and how it was all structured and fit together uh was really well done and you know i wouldn't be surprised if they had somebody else that kind of wrote the song itself but if they didn't and they all did it themselves that's awesome that's crazy so uh but yeah anyways those are my thought those are my thoughts on that um i am going to get to some other videos now so thank you guys so much for watching thank you for subscribing and as always i will see you in the next video bye